Hey, what's going on everybody? Today, I'm just gonna simply be walking you guys through what I carry every day in terms of on duty for a police officer. I've seen a lot of videos with a lot of different opinions and my disclaimer here is relatively new to the game, haven't been on the job very long, but this is what I found works for me. And by no means am I an expert, a SWAT tactics instructor or anything special Navy SEAL wise at all. Obviously you can see up here at one point in time, simplify, kill, raw. I do have a little bit of background in the Marine Corps as an infantryman. So this is stuff that I've found works well for me. And there's always a different opinion and always a different personal preference. So starting out over here on my left side, but from right to left, I have just a simple 511 radio pouch. Works well for me, great retention, keeps everything secure. I run my mic loop up here on my left shoulder so it's out of the way in case I ever did have to shoulder a patrol rifle. I keep the actual mic cord itself tucked in underneath the pouch and it runs in here and it's snug and it doesn't get in the way if I ever have to go to work. Got two G-code Glock 17 style mag pouch holders. They work great. G-codes are a very reputable band, reputable brand. Never had any issues with these. Once again, great retention with the Malice Clips. Zero nine handcuff pouch. You know, that good hard Kydex material. You know, great retention. And once again, zero nine comes up again with the uh, flashlight holder. Uh, the flashlight holder doesn't get in the way of me, you know, Removing my cuffs from the pouch. Never had any issues with 09. Definitely going to go back and purchase more stuff from them. I'd highly recommend it if you guys hadn't checked it out. This is also a uh, 09 double mag pouch holder that I got from them as well. Worked great. Used it for a while. Fell on the ground several times pretty hard with it. No real scuffs, no real damage. The only problem is if, if you do rock this on a belt, it is going to dig into your side, but that's the name of the game, I guess. Up top, got this big Velcro tab that, you know, you can really put whatever identifying mark you want. You know, uh, I chose to put my body cam up here, front and center on my chest. This is an actual Axon provided body camera mount that I got from those guys. You know, the body cam locks in here, super secure. You know, there's a little bit of wiggle room, but when is there not? Never, you know, moving around with the body cam. But great retention on that, not going anywhere. We got to rep the set, simplify once again. Police pouch. And this is like, uh, was sent to me in a package with a bunch of other shit I ordered. I believe it's supposed to be some type of like Velcro material protector. I don't know. Once again, I'm not a, not a gear guru. I believe if you really want it to be super cool and stick a uh, pen in there. Okay. Moving on to my duty belt setup, starting from the front. I got a soil eater, tourniquet holder. Great. Literally puts it right in the center. Check out the Crocs right in the center of, you know, your belt line. You know, you can reach the tourniquet with either hand with ease from pretty much any position, tested it out under, you know, stress, laying on the ground, sideways, upside down in a barrel. Pretty beat up Safari Land 6360 holster. Safari Land, you know, goes without speaking. Level three retention, great brand. Haven't had any issues with that. Glock 34, issued by the department. There's a big debate over uh, Surefire and Streamlight. I'm a big fan of, you know, the Streamlight TLR HL. It's never failed me. It's done everything I needed to. It's a little bit cheaper, and a lot of guys I know go with that option because the quality is there, the price is there. You know, why, why mess with something that works? On my back, I've got a HSGI Comtac handcuff holster. Does everything I needed to. Good retention, great material, would recommend. Pretty standard Taser X26P holster. That's where I keep my Taser on my offside. And then 09 showing up strong yet again with the <clears throat> with the hard OC spray holster. You know, overall, great product. 09, can't recommend them enough. I really enjoy their products. Never had any issues. I don't have to worry about any of my stuff slipping, sliding, falling, or any of that. And it's easy to get out. 